Hello, hello, we're back and today we're going to be doing a POV on Tower Bridge and around the immediate area with the Canon 850D again but this time with the kit lens now the 18-55 most kit options have it um, it's got a reputation as not being a great lens but I'm here to show you that as a starter it does the job now what a lot of people seem to have a problem with is the aperture it's a variable aperture it changes as you zoom in 5.6 is lowest at 55 mil and 4 is the lowest on f4 i mean at 18 mil but on conditions like this it doesn't really matter um sure enough you can get sharper lenses but if you're just starting out i think it's it still does the job so with street, what do I always look for? Cars. Um, there's no here, I can't really get to it. Let's see if I can get a picture of it. I'll go to, I'll try punching in a bit. Use that as a bit of foreground. So that was at about 26 mil. Um, f4.5 that's 100 one two fiftieth of a second let's see not too bad um, because of the aperture it is a bit restricting because obviously you can't get that crystal sharp amount of light in to really define the subjects. See if we can get a shot between the power of London here. Again, this is going to be a 55 mil. It's a bit waning. The cliche shot of Tower Bridge um, from this side. You see, I've noticed I've been pushing at 55 a lot. 50, 55, so you can see that's my comfort zone. The 50 mil. Um, anyways, let's see if you can get this. Let's get low. I am on F9 I mean it's a decent shot but it lacks that clarity F9 you really do start losing the detail around the edges it becomes a bit more soft let's see if we can get this woman to the fold over there Taxi just got in. That's actually quite nice that. I do like that one with the taxi. You got the sky garden peeking in the back as well. See if we can get these guys just walking towards me. Um I'm gonna go down to about F5.6. <laughs> you want them? <laughs> yeah, so we've got those guys, cheerful chaps. See if we can get them with the tower behind them. That's quite nice as well. It's this time of year, as the trees get a bit more yellow before the leaves fall out these trees here right by the river frame the shard really nicely now again i'm gonna punch in and of course the van's in my way but that's what street photography is about you know you go wait for cars all the time so frame it up 
Why not get a guy in there as well? Pretty nice, I think. I mean, it's something new. I've never seen that before. Standard one, the shard. Again, punching in. The top of the car is a bit of foreground as well, actually. So that's all right. It is getting a bit soft. Just around the edge slightly. You can get this murk here. As he's moving. That's alright. I guess. Driver looking over the pier. Bus. Came out really good, I think. There's a beautiful, beautiful Audi TT here. Get down. Focus on the rim. Now we're all the way in. Focus on the wheel. Cool. See if we can get off the back as well before he shoots off. They're broken down, so I'm going to use this opportunity to quickly get down. Get on a tower bridge on an empty road. That looks quite good. Yeah, the car broken down just over there. Right, so we've made it. Um, and of course, we have to get the cliche shot of tower bridge that everyone gets boom okay she came in the frame boom that one perfect just a shot everyone gets when they get here um the other one is of course the sky gardens bishop's gate all of that all of that good stuff hmm I'm just thinking, do I want it super wide or do I want it slightly tighter? The good thing about this is you can do a bit of both. So get all of it in and see if you can pop in slightly. See if we can get this guy looking over. I mean, so you do get some bokeh, but it's not... It's not where you'd want it to be. Let's just put it like that. Let's see if we can get her as well. There's a treasure trove for pictures. There's leading lines. There's reflections. There's just... A lot of interesting subjects as well. Come on, man. Yeah, Gee, yeah. It's so man, that, isn't it? Well, you, you got guys, snap? I got a snap, but I can't even call it snap. Insta, yeah, just follow me up, boys. Yeah, oh. <laughs> what am I shooting today? Yeah, street photography, boss. Ah, boss, thank you yeah, for that. Take care, man. Yeah, Take care, brother. So there you go, guys. Like I said, always. In my first video I was talking about security guards, what not talk to them. Like he was super chill, super super chill.
and you're just telling me what's what. Yeah, just always talk to people. Especially that, like that screwdriver was so calm. There was like no. Let's even get this guy. Oh, it's a girl. Not bad. But there we go. S8. One five hundredth of a second. I saw a hundred. Boom. It's just seen what I should get a picture of here. Don't isolate her. Wait for my opportunity. The Uber boat, beautiful. Um, let's see if we can get one just isolating Sky Gardens because it is just such a beautiful building. We'll get HMS probably in there, why not? Turn the shooting speed, let's go to high speed continuous. That's quite a nice one. Two love birds found behind them. Ooh, there is water. There is water, ladies and gents. See if I can get one the other way. Well, that, 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 was really nice. that one came out pretty good. I just can't get enough of Tower Bridge. This shot of Tower Bridge is just everyone's favorite. Everyone loves it. There's also, you can just look up the EY Foundation building. I just say shooting manual because. You have to fiddle with the settings so often, so so often because of that variable aperture. Because you can't stay dialed in, you gotta constantly fiddle with the ISO, the shutter speed. So we're in Hayes Galleria, one of the, I'd say one of the most rustic places in, I'd say London to be fair. Um, it just gives very, very, very Harry Potter-ish vibes. So if we go all the way out on the super wide, you should just look up, take the shot. Good architecture. Right, so couldn't record much in there because the security was making sure that I wasn't recording too much. Now I'm going to use one of Sam's ideas here Peep through that The sticker on manual Go for a subject That might be, that's the money shot for today lads That is the money shot for today So that was the street photography with the Canon Kitlens 1855 F45.6 What's my verdict on it? As a beginner, I think it's okay Got the reach of the 18 Not the reach, got the wide of the 18 With the reach of the 55 And also we teach you about camera settings We teach you how to balance everything out Anyway guys, thanks so much for watching I've been your boy Imagine until next time.